Hell freaking yes. anticipated movie four years in the making the Avengers and I'm probably gonna get the same question from all of you Tony was it awesome was it everything that we wanted it is everything that we wanted and more I really underhyped this movie for myself because this movie is just so freaking epic that it is it is the best movie I've seen in like three years, hands down. The best superhero movie I've seen in three years. So the basic premise of the Avengers is Loki comes back to Earth to take this blue box known as the Tesseract that we saw in Captain America and at the end of Thor, which is this blue box full of unlimited amount of energy so he could take it back to this alien race so that they could come to Earth and take it over. And basically he left Nick Fury no choice but to reinstate the Avengers initiative to bring back all these people who can fight the battle that we could not and that's basically what the movie's all about. Now, like I said earlier, this movie is a much anticipated movie. I've been waiting for four years since the minute Iron Man ended and we saw and we heard about the Avengers Initiative. I honestly thought this was like a joke, like, oh, are they really gonna do that? And now, it's come to fruition. I was so excited that I told my best friend Liz, who I went to the movie with, Liz, this movie was awesome. I told her to buy our tickets a month in advance so that we got good seats to go see this movie. And like I said, this movie was more than I ever imagined. I was really scared because I thought I would overhype myself to the point where I wouldn't really appreciate or like the movie, but I really just undersold this movie because there is so much in this movie to love and to like. Although there are many superheroes and stars in this movie, the real star, the real star of this movie is Josh Whedon. He did a phenomenal job directing and writing this movie. He did it spot on and I have to give him props for this. I really didn't have that much faith in Josh Whedon. I mean, everyone knows him as being the guy who created Buffy the Vampire Slayer and other shows. I didn't really think much of him, but he did a phenomenal job just directing the characters, the camera work that he did, the writing. It was just spot on, spot on, spot on. And you know what? Josh Whedon, you are officially a bad ass. There was just so many good things about this movie. The story, great. The writing, perfect. The direction, sweet. The character development and the characters, spot on. Everybody brought their A-game into this game. And you know, a lot of people didn't like Captain America or still don't like Captain America. I love the fact that they really highlight that Captain America is the leader of the Avengers because Everyone's like always putting Iron Man in the front and I, don't get me wrong, I love Iron Man. But the true leader of the Avengers is Captain America and they highlight that perfectly in this movie. Also, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man still kills it. He still kills it. He was awesome. Thor's awesome too. And I gotta give it up for Mark Ruffalo for blowing me away as Bruce Banner, a.k.a. The Incredible Hulk. He did a perfect job. I didn't think he would do such a great job. Also, you can't leave this movie without thinking about Loki, the villain of the movie. He just, he just radiates with pure evilness that it just, the minute he comes on stage, you're like, man, this guy is about to kick some major ass. He is such a badass. He is so hard to beat, yet he has that little childish feeling to himself, like, you know, hey, I'm powerful. And... Ah, he was awesome in this movie. One thing that I really thought that Josh Whedon knocked it out of the park was the character development and chemistry between characters. I mean, they try to emulate the fact that, okay, these people are not all going to be happy that they're together. I mean, some heads are going to clash. These are like the most powerful people in the world. Of course, there's going to be heads butting. And, you know, some of the best moments is between Iron Man and Captain America when they're butting heads. It just like, because they're polar opposites, of course they would clash heads, but they know for a fact that they need to team up for the better good, and the way that they developed their chemistry was really good. I mean, you got so much development, like Black Widow got a better development, Hawkeye got a development, the Hulk got a development, everybody got their own development, and Nick Fury, badass. And lastly, the action, special effects, and comedy was done 
perfectly in this movie. First, I want to talk about the comedy. I was so shocked about how funny this movie was. Because the one thing that I was a little worried about was how is he going to handle this type of humor in this type of like dark tone that he was going with. And he did it flawlessly. I mean, people were laughing their asses off. They were rolling on the floor. I kid you not. The theater I was in, everyone was applauding and laughing. It felt so good. You should, If you're going to watch this movie, go see it with a big audience. And also, the action scenes are one of the best superhero action scenes I've seen. There are some awesome throwdowns here. Throwdowns with the villains, throwdowns with each other. It's just pure action awesomeness. And to have so much action in this movie with some character development just makes it a perfect movie altogether. And it goes without saying that the special effects were pretty awesome. When there are fight scenes with the special effects, especially with the Hulk, sweet. So overall, I really, really, really love this movie. It had Everything I wanted had action, comedy, drama, great character development, awesome directing, awesome story, a creepy ass villain. It's just so entertaining and I really just want to watch it again. I'm probably going to watch it like three or four more times because this movie is without a doubt a five out of five. It is an epic masterpiece and Dark Knight Rises, you got competition. You better blow me away like this movie did. But anyway, what did you guys think of this movie? Did you like it a lot? Did you hate it? And let me know again. I asked you this before, but I'm curious. Who is your favorite Avenger? For me, it's Captain America. It's always been Captain America. I love that guy. Comment below and let me know. Anyway, I'm the Black Critic Guy, bridging the gap between movies and anime reviews. Till then, peace YouTube.